I mean, the bowlers have been fantastic for a long period of time. The boys, they've learnt over the years how to, to move the juke around. We've got a strong group there that, that I'm, I'm pretty excited about. Every bowler's looking to get better and learn and, and take it to that new level and, and that's the beauty about having a, a, a squad like we have. We've got so many um, experienced heads in here with Tim and Trent that you can bounce ideas off and, and try to figure out what works for you because you never know that like with people playing for longer and longer there's, there's no reason why you can't have a long career. And I think uh, one of the great traits of this group is, is guys aren't satisfied, guys are always looking to get better and I think that's uh, kind of just part of the environment where um, even at, at 32 you're still looking at ways, ways to improve your game, ways that you can take your, to your game to a new level. With us as a bowling group getting also Colin uh, De Grano, I mean, uh, and Dale Mitchell and all the other guys in there too and Matt Henry who's got extreme, extremely good success uh, with a juke ball over in England. It's uh, arguably the best time I guess in New Zealand cricket with uh, the wealth of bowlers and experience. I really care and I think that's what really is important is the guys really care about the success of this team. There certainly is times when if you've got those relationships and the environment and the trust and the cultures there I think that's what's been really pleasing for me is to see how basically everyone is really unselfish. I, I know those guys are leaving a fantastic legacy with this cricket team.